Welcome to another exciting episode of the one-on-one -on -one show. Well, today on the show is a veteran Nollywood actor and he is a role model to so many Nigerians. His name is Ikem Owa. Wonderful to have you, sir. Thank you very much. Yes. Okay, I just want to know what exactly or at what point exactly did you think about acting or did you want to go into acting? I never thought about acting. You see, the thing is... Uh, uh, well, I I will join the others to say it's a kind of a gift. You don't want it, you don't ask for it, it comes. Uh, right from my early age or early stages of my life, I've been into this, this and that. Even though when I started the school, they believe that anybody who does sciences and all that is an intelligent one. So mm -hmm. I left everything that has to do with art or creativity behind I was just trying to pursue the sciences so but however much you may try to pursue it it comes back you. you know so I would say that uh, almost all my life you see the expressions I give people laugh about it too being a comedian just came naturally oh that's yes. amazing so what movie exactly will you say brought you to the limelight that everybody just loved you and loved your act I think it's everybody that has to answer that question because <laughs> but I don't I have to. But I can answer it. I think of Sofia in London. Fine. <laughs> that is your own case. Okay. Because there are people who prefer others. Okwa, there are people no. who prefer Okwa. Yeah. Some Mugwa, some, you know, a lot of other ones. So I don't have to tell them this is not. But I can tell you the one that made most, uh, made most, en I enjoyed yeah. most. Yeah economically, yes. if you know what I mean. <laughs> the one that sends me straight to the bank, and those ones are the ones that attract me so much. Uh, there are some of them, you know. And again, let me say, something like oh, um, Asofa in London. Yeah, Sophia. Why I loved it was that it's a cross-cultural mm. drama. So uh, I always like to do something, you know, challenges. You know, let's see how these people's culture are and all that. Mm. Apart from that, there are other ones, and I keep saying one little film I did once. When I was much younger, there were, is a story that yes. was told to me by my grandmother. And all that. So when I came up and uh, somebody brought a script that's similar to that, it's a popular story, folk tale. Yeah. And I acted the lead. Yeah, correct. I think they called it the King of the Jungle, all that. Which is because of the attachment I had for it. Yeah. It's and the good. attachment I had with my grandmother. I love that very so. I didn't know whether I'd made it economically or you know, anything, but I had attachment to it, sentimental okay. one. Okay, just my last question. Um, I have you read a lot about you and heard a lot about you. Yeah. Is it true that you do not go by scripts, that um, whatever thing you say on set, it comes within, from inside of you? You see, when you, have, when you are acting drama and you are advancing in mm -hmm. drama or theme, there are certain things that begin to be part of you. Mm -hmm. What I believe now is that script is a guide. I interpret it my own way. What I need is to see the essence, the, 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 what you want, the concept you want to send across. Okay. But when I interpret it my own way, you don't like it. You can bring your own. Except when the thing becomes obscene, that's when I say I will not act. Mm -hmm. But once it's within the moral range of what we practice in this country, I... Uh, I, uh, I think it's, it's in, I just let it go. I am Kim O, alias Osofia, alias Hukwa, alias a lot of things. This is Village Square TV, and the story lives. <laughs>